A retired Detroit police officer coming forward tonight to set the record straight on Rick Worksheet. Sergeant John Simon was a supervisor in Detroit's 9th district in the late 80s. It was a time when crack cocaine was running rampant and the city's murder rate was double what it is today. Well, this week, the parole board will vote to decide if Worshi gets a formal parole hearing. The retired officer is clearing the air before that vote. Defender Kevin Dietz has the story. Sergeant John Simon was the officer in charge the day Rick Worshi was arrested. He says he had been chasing Worshi through his east side neighborhood since the kid was 12 and knew he was on a path to trouble. Now, for the first time ever, he's speaking out. John Simon is a retired Detroit police officer living in a retirement home in Ohio who wants to get the truth about white boy Rick Worshi off knew, his chest. I knew Worshi from when he was a kid. Sergeant Simon said Worshi was known in the neighborhood as a troublemaker, even before becoming a teenager. Everybody pointed, oh yeah, you gotta watch this kid, this white kid here, he's always in, involved in, in stuff everybody knew. Young Rick Worshi becoming a regular at the police station. Every time he'd get arrested or brought in, his mother would show up and he'd be held to pay at the station listening for all this, why are you picking on my son? But the retired sergeant says when it came to drugs, Worshi was no kingpin. He was little more than an errand boy for the real drug dealers and killers on Detroit's east side. He was easy target. He, you know, white boy, hey, they made him a drug campaign because he's a white boy and, and doing errands. As for being violent, Sergeant Simon said the skinny kid with the blonde mop top was fearful, not frightening. Only violent thing that he, what seeing worse he do was he spit on uh, one of the guys, uh, the guy from narcotics in the cell block while they, and, and tried to spit on me. But on May 22nd, 1987, Simon tells me where she had eight kilos of cocaine and a bag of cash. Simon was the officer in charge when Rick Worshi was pulled over by police, where she ran into his grandmother's house. They searched the house and stuff. And apparently he had gotten out, out of the back of the house. Police say where she was carrying two bags, one with the money. We found uh, a paper bag with money, with the money. And I said, okay, give me that, that goes with me. The other with the drugs, eight kilos eight and kilo. $35,000 something like that. Yeah. That's, a, that's a big bust, right? Hell yeah. It, it filled up my, the back seat of my, uh, well, front seat of my car. And for that, Simon tells me where she deserved a lengthy prison sentence. So why not just keep him locked up forever? For what? For what? Nonviolent but not anywhere near the 29 years where she has been behind bars. He's part, part and parcel of that devastation. But there were people that did more, that provided the stupid kid with the dope and the money, and they're out. The 10 member parole board will vote on Friday on whether or not to give Rick Worshi a formal hearing. If he gets six yes votes, there will be a public hearing this summer. If he does not, he will not be reconsidered for release for another five years. Kevin Dietz, Defenders.